Welcome to another new session of MATLAB function and this is me David John and today I am going to show you how to generate a list box selection dialog that gives an opportunity for an user to select the string items present in the list box. The syntax of this function is selection which is a vector which is a vector that specifies the index of the strings in the list box and OK is one if the user presses the OK button or zero if he ignores the OK button or presses the cancel button is equal to list dialog which takes a compulsory attribute list string and yes is the value of that list string attribute. Other attributes of the list dialog function are list string uh, which, are, which is a compulsory attribute of course uh, which uh, contains a cell array of strings for the list box and the prompt string is a string that appears above the list box to specify the user or give an instruction to the user to select one or more items and the list size is the size of the list box uh, which is uh, specified as width and breadth width and height and the selection mode specifies whether it is a single selection or a multiple selection allow, allowing you to select one item or one or more items respectively ok string is the string that is specified instead of OK on the OK button. Cancel string is the string specified on the cancel button. Initial value is the value that is selected initially and the name gives is a string that is the title of the dialog box. In this example, I have taken str is equal to select anything single selection for prompt string and s is equal to first item, second item, third item, a cell array for the list string attribute. So on executing the function where I obtain the result as the selection vector that gives the index indices of the items selected. So list dialog is equal to prompt string which takes the value str that is select anything single selection and the list size I specified width as 100 and height as 100 and the list string takes the value yes that is the first item second item and the third item and in this case I have chosen single for single selection mode as value for it so on executing it I obtain a list box with first item, second item, third item of 100 and 100, 100 for width and 100 for height with prompt string select anything and single selection. Since I have not used a name attribute, the dialog box doesn't have a title. And I've, since I have not used OK string as well as cancel string attribute, it has the default value OK and cancel for it for the buttons of OK and cancel button. So on executing it, so I am choosing the second button, second item. When I press the OK, it gives the indices of the item that I have chosen from the list box. That is selected item index is 2. That is the second index specifies for the second item string. The default selection mode is multiple. So if you want to select more than one items, you can just ignore the selection mode attribute otherwise specify multiple in it as the value for it. So on executing it, I can use select all to select everything or select one or two by pressing the control button. Since I have not selected it, 
Now I've selected first and the sec third item. So on ex pressing the OK button, I get the indices of 1 and 3, specifying first item and third item being selected by the user. That's all for today guys. Thank you.